G'day. Yeah, it's Jeff from uh, Cartridge World, Castle Hill. This will be another shaky video, so sorry about that. Epsons, cleaning printheads. Well, you've probably looked at about a million videos trying to clean your printhead. There's something I've noticed most people don't mention, and it's the fact that inside the printhead there is gaskets. And gaskets make a seal. So the base of the cartridge there, and inside the printhead here and around that uh, nipple down the bottom very hard to see unfortunately is a rubber gasket if that rubber gasket has got crud around it that means that the cartridge can suck air or the printhead actually sucks air which isn't good and it can leave you in the position of driving yourself nuts trying to clean the printhead, multiple printhead cleans. So what you do is you get a very expensive, very rare, very exotic product. Ooh. And you just gently spray into this well down in here. Just gently spray. Don't flood it. Don't drown the bloody thing, whatever you do, and leave it sit. Okay? Then what you do is you get a high quality tissue like this one. You can see what I've done. High quality tissue. Pack it down in there, down in the well, to suck up the excess moisture. Okay? Now I'm not going to do this because I've just fixed this guy's printer and I don't want to go through it all again. So, there's still moisture there. There still might be crud. So you get a Q-tip, earbud, whatever you want to call it, and you clean around on the gasket around there. You wipe and clean, wipe and clean, and try and get that as clean as you possibly can all around there. And you will see the rubber gasket. No, don't get, try and lift it out with a screwdriver to give it a good clean. You'll damage the damn thing. Okay, there's a black one over there. You can't see just the way the light is. Okay, and you'll end up with crud all over the uh, Q-tip, then put the cartridges back in and there's a fairly good chance you'll see a significant improvement in the, in the quality of the print. This is all provided you've already done a few printhead cleans, do three or four. That's through the control panel of the printer. You do the printhead cleans, okay? Through the control panel of the printer. Okay, so look, give that a go. There's no one really mentioning the fact that there's a gasket there or a grommet or a ring or whatever you want to call, and it allows air to get in. And I went from more shaky time. I went from this, no yellow, no cyan, no magenta, or almost no yellow, very poor black, to in one printhead clean only, after cleaning it with the famous Windex, I went to that. That's pretty good. I'm going to stay there because this is an older gentleman with not a lot of money and I don't want to chew, to up, chew up too much of his ink. So hopefully he'll be happy with that. If he's not happy, he'll just do a few more printed cleans. Okay. So look, that's Jeff from Cartridge World. Good on you. Have some fun. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Bye. Trying to switch the thing off.